what's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Another day, Thursday. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate you. Another day, another opportunity to do great things. I'm at a crossroads here, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to talk to you about it. I think um, I might have to give something up. Hey, how you doing? And what I mean by giving something up, I got a lot going on all at the same time. Building multiple businesses. I woke up an hour late today. It's a lot happening, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like I'm not getting enough sleep right now. I would say even on the weekends, I'm averaging the equivalent of what? Three, four hours of sleep a day? I don't know. And I think the difficult thing is, is trying to figure out what's most important. For me, the most fun thing and the most important thing is content creation. But then I got multiple businesses being built. I also got the creative space that I'm being that's being built. Coffee shops, all kind of stuff being built, possibly. I'm thinking that that might be one of the things that I wind up shelving simply because what capacity do I have? And I'm actually kind of worried about the whole coffee shop concept because A, I don't think I have the capacity to be able to deal with it. I mean, what capacity do I have to deal with it at this point? And B, putting somebody in place, it's hard to find good people. It seems like don't nobody want to work. Starbucks is closing down a lot of the different restaurants or a lot of the different coffee shops and the spaces that uh, they're at and they're turning it back over to wh wherever the lessees are because a lot of the employees are unionizing. Even here in Detroit, do you know that the small coffee shops, one of them says, you know what, we're not going to do it. And it was one of the best coffee shops in Detroit. Really awesome place. You know that they decided that they didn't want to do it anymore simply because the people tried to, tried to unionize and then it was hard to find workers. <sighs> it's almost like preventing yourself from even being in that position before you even get into the position. You know what I'm saying? And I was talking to Rita and she's like, Anton, you can't keep operating on three hours of sleep every single day. You know, one of the things that we had came to the conclusion of about a year ago was that I was going to get more sleep. Well, that's not happening. And I don't know if it's just inherently because I just continue to always want to continue to do more stuff regardless. Here's the other caveat. I'm going to give you the thing that's really prohibiting, from, prohibiting me from really, really expanding into other stuff as far as me spending my time doing other things. Corporate America, man. My corporate America bag is so big and I got much bigger projects coming online. I'm in the office a lot more now, which is one of the things I was worried about a year ago, but then I got some huge, huge, huge uh, bonuses and equity that's coming online within the next, uh, let's see, I got one coming in November and I got another one coming in December and then I got another one coming in March. And so I'm, I'm incentivized to stay, but then again, I don't have the capacity outside of that to do anything anything you know as far as physically more than I'm already doing at what point I guess do you say you're overloaded and you feel to your capacity and how do you create more capacity to do other things because I'm still incredibly ambitious it's almost like I'm more ambitious now than I've ever been and then I got basketball season coming, <laughs> which means it's 41 games plus preseason that I'm going to want to chill and watch the games and all of that. Now, I don't even have the capacity to do that right now. I'm already thinking about, hey, which games I'm not, am I not going to be able to go to and what games am I going to be able to go to? There's my baby. There's my baby. What games am I going to have the capacity to go to? And what games am I going to have to say, nah, I'm not going to be able to do it. <laughs> People don't tip like that? What's been slow to you? 
Oh, it's just slow. been slow. Right. Okay. I'm like, I man. probably had, I probably had, a, if it hasn't been anybody tip, it's probably been maybe just a couple. But it's just been slow. Ah, well, hopefully that tip was, uh, well, I pre it's sufficient for you. Me. You're welcome, my friend. Thank you. It. Yep. We still having a tip debate? People ain't tipping. I take care of everybody, and I'm going to just tell you, like, the people down here, well, of course, the people down here take care of me because I spent a whole lot of money down here, but, um, I'm still trying to figure out this tip debate. I'm still trying to figure out why people are not including that as a part of doing business. There's a lot of people here for a conference. But I'm guessing it's slow because it's so early in the morning. But uh, yeah, I woke up an hour late today. and I wanted to get up at 5, but I didn't go to bed till 2. And so I wound up getting up at 6. And I was moving slow. and I'm in my spaceship, so I'm feeling extra good. I was moving slow today and didn't feel like I was getting a lot done and you know what I'm gonna finish vlogging when I get get to the, my spot cuz I just want to chill I just want to ride in my spaceship and chill and then we'll kick it in a minute all right you know what I noticed as I travel back out here if you just look at the landscape overall it's just more trees and the city is just a completely different vibe in which you know, it's great to have both. It's great to have an environment where, you know, it's just more, I guess, serene, so to speak, in which there's just more trees all around you. Look at this. As you go down a road, it's just more trees everywhere. Whereas when you go into the city, it's like it's more entertainment, it's more lights. I guess those are just things that you never really pay attention to unless you making a transition back and forth on a regular basis. And I like having both. I like having the option. Let's do that. I like having the option to have both as I get my day started. So it is a very, very interesting thing. But, um, you know, while I was on the freeway and taking my drive and, you know, we taking our daily drive back home and things like that so we can get ready for the day and you now I don't even pack clothes anymore I just go back and forth to wherever it is I gotta go and then it just is what it is but I almost feel like not having sleep is just truly severely affecting my health and I don't know how to honestly honestly my biggest thing which is why my calendar is so important to me is that I don't know how to add more time into my day. I mean, if I can make the day 30 hours, that would be perfect. But I, I, I don't know what to do. And I feel like a lot of times, you know, you just get to a point to where you just, it's like every day you run yourself all the way out until you hit E. And then you like recharge but you recharge just enough to where you can hit E all the way out into the next day. And it's just, it just seems like it's unsustainable. And if, and if I don't figure something out on how I can regularly get six, seven hours of sleep on a regular basis, then, you know, I was talking to Q, Island Girl Q. Shout out to Q. Q, let me tell you how you know you got good friends. Q is so concerned about my sleep and my health and she like anti you need to hand that over hand that over and you need to take a vacation and forget all of this other kind of crap and i'm like nah q that's not how we that's not how we built greatness you know what i'm saying maybe i do need more balance but again if i have that balance or if i add more balance then that means i'd have to cut out something that i'm or at least postpone something that i'm planning in the future until i can add capacity into my schedule to be able to do that and it's so it's almost like yo i'm just I'm almost unwilling to slow down because it's like time. Time is your biggest asset in addition to your network. And so when we look at all the trees, look at all the trees. It's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Just riding down the golf course. 
trees, trees, trees. But then if I sit, you know, in this area, if I'm in this area too long, I start to feel claustrophobic. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like, yo, I gotta have a city. So again, it's it's all it's awesome to have both, but I don't know what the solution is. And so I need your help. I'm looking for insight and information on how it is that I can go about um, adding more capacity, either adding more capacity or, you know, are there things that I should possibly postpone or forego in order to ensure that I focus more on my health? You know, I do like spending time and having the opportunity to do the things that I really want to do, and I feel like I've earned it. You know what I'm saying? And it's almost like I I equated back to in 2019 when I decided to retire from corporate America in the first place. It's like having golden handcuffs. Like, yeah, I can give up corporate America, but honestly, I don't see where that would add additional capacity because the majority of what I do for corporate America is during the hours of nine to five. Which is when I'm also doing a lot of other things from a business perspective. bags is too big for corporate America. I'm not letting that go. Like that's guaranteed big bag money. There's no reason for me to let that go. And they give me everything else. They give me healthcare coverage. They give me um, crazy benefits, bonuses, equity. That ain't even work. That's not even a question. Corporate America, letting that go, not out of the question. Content creation, this is what I love. Out of the question. This is how I connected with so many different people. It's out of the question. Content creation space, we doing that. I don't know. Maybe I just need to really, really lean into the things that I'm already killing it and great at. There's no need in reinventing the wheel. Maybe I'll just spend the majority of my time being an equity investor in other people's businesses. Maybe that's the move. I don't know. I don't know. I'm at a crossroads. And so this is this is the dilemma sometimes that a lot of people have because also my daughter is at the age to where, you know, I want to be able to make sure that I continue to pour into her as she goes into high school. And, you know, Rita, she works for me and she's added a lot of capacity for me, you know, just working for me and making sure that she's my eyes and ears in spaces where I wouldn't normally have eyes and ears at. And you know, Rita made a suggestion, yes, suggestion yesterday and she said, yo, forget all of that other stuff. Like anything outside of the stuff that I just named, back burner that jump. She's like, yo, I don't, it's kind of heartbreaking for me to hear that sometimes because as a man, you feel like you take on the world, but she was like, yo, A, you know, being up under you is awesome, but B, seeing you broken and, and, and sleep deprived every day as a wife is absolutely heartbreaking and it's killing me, Anton. And so, you know, for me, I'm always trying to take that into consideration because the last thing you want to do is end up on your deathbed because you over, you know, overworked and what's the point of having it all if you can't, if you don't have the capacity to be able to really, really, you know, utilize it to do the things that you really want to do. You know what I'm saying? So that's the dilemma that I'm facing. I'm curious as to what your thoughts are. I'm seriously having real conversations with myself and a come to Jesus moment in which it just doesn't make sense. So not giving up corporate because I love corporate and I'm great at it and I, and I get a crazy bag from it and I can limit that from 9 to 5 and have my weekends I am a silent investor in a bunch of other businesses I'm not giving up the web development company not happening I'm certainly not slowing down when it comes to content creation because that's where all my momentum is and that's how I'm able to market things more effectively Yeah, I'd like to know your thoughts. Let me know. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are about, you know, should I limit myself? Should I continue to push?
push forward regardless of what the health um, problems are all of that other type of stuff and then also I, I'd like to add more capacity to focus 100% towards fitness but I just I can't see something's got to give when I when I went into this whole content creation space I had sold the business so I'd have the capacity to do so which was absolutely the best the best move for me at the time anyways I love you guys I appreciate you um, petitioning for your feedback I'm curious as to what your thoughts are uh, Anton from AntonDaniels.com If you need to get in touch with me Email me at AntonDaniels413 at gmail.com And um, Make sure you hit up the Patreon The link is in the description as well as spent to the top of the chat um, I love you guys, I appreciate you I'm going to holler at you later Peace